Saturday night featured a matchup between 11 and 4 Colorado and 5 and 8 Arizona State in Tempe. It was also a game dedicated to honoring former Sun Devil great Ike Diago, whose jersey was hung in the rafters of Desert Financial Arena. But for his former team, they couldn't keep up with the Buffaloes, losing 75 to 57 after a difficult shooting night. You got to be ready to play to make excuses about whatever. It's there. There are no excuses. So, you know, you got to reach deep, and you know, I just didn't think we 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 had that urgency we needed defensively to to get stops. It wasn't the prettiest shooting performance from ASU tonight, which may stem from the team's lack of play over the past month, with this just being their second game back since December 19th, leading to the team running out of steam in the second half. They wanted to play and they were you know, juiced about playing because it's been so long, but you know, we, we, uh, we just we didn't have a lot of gas in the tank you know, in the second half. And, and, uh, and they hit some shots and got some confidence, and then we, we couldn't really cut into the lead again. Despite Jalen Graham's career-high 16 points, the offensive struggles continued, shooting 34% from the field and 24% from the three-point line. Bobby Hurley's team has had a difficult time scoring this season, averaging 62.6 .6 points per game, which is the worst mark in the Pac-12. It's just been a team that's, that's really struggled to score, and you know, I haven't had a team since I've been here that's had this much difficulty scoring the ball. Um, so, I mean, it's, I mean, we got to play better. we got to make shots. we got to execute. It'll be a quick turnaround for ASU as they face Utah on Monday in Tempe and are looking to avoid falling to 10 losses on the season in January for the first time in five years. In Tempe, Zachary Larson, Inferno Intel.